see this house, I think uh, somebody lives here, an old people, may, an old people maybe, because uh, it's an old house and uh, uh, it doesn't seem, it's, uh, I don't know how to say it. Uh, some uh, uh, young people want, want to live here. Um, I know the place is, uh, is called Karol Cizestre and I know architects live inside. this house and we saw how big it was, we decided to be, create a bigger project. For two reasons, one because we are architects and we uh, want to protect the old houses and the second was the, mostly the important one, it was the um, a normal and uh, fine normal house, it's expensive. Actually the, the house is quite huge and we were kind of impressed of the space, but it was a lot of work, more than we expect of the renovation and cleaning and all the stuff. And uh, then we start with these cultural events. It got very interesting meeting a lot of people, uh, doing all kinds of projects. So I thought, I think this is the idea, to do a house without money in, in a different uh, manner, let's say. I think started uh, at the beginning of the last year. It was about uh, trying to, to collaborate to, to create some sort of partnership between uh, my association, Rabiage, and the uh, Carol 53 project uh, in order to, to help the rehabilitation of the building. The house is, it was built by a uh, lawyer in uh, 912, uh, and he was his private house with a big library. So and with servants, uh, very rich uh, family. And then uh, it was taken by his son, who was, uh, it was dead in the, in the Second War. And then his ex-wife, who was studying architecture, uh, was married with an architect, uh, Stan Pornowski, who's actually the father of the owner now. And then it was uh, the communist regime who take the house, was uh, transformed it in, uh, in some uh, administration. Uh, Bucharest had, uh, has uh, lots of houses like this. Uh, they were um, taken by the government and the uh, uh, communist uh, era. And uh, now they're, uh, they're giving it back to the owners, but the owners uh, don't, have to, don't have the money to um, manage such big houses now. And actually the main is we're doing uh, this chantier events, like in the day chantier, in the night events or something like this. It was, it was crazy at the beginning, right? there were a lot of events, and but, but it, it was good because the Bucharest needed that. We started, uh, we are musicians, and we started playing in the kitchen, and uh, everybody started to sing along with us, <laughs> and uh, we had lots of fun, and in that night, uh, our first meeting, we decided that uh, we would move in here. <laughs>
shop here. Bicycle uh, repairing and repainting for uh, bicycle frames and forks. So this is mainly what I do on a daily basis. I, uh, I repair and I recondition uh, uh, bikes. So uh, after they got the, got the house, I saw an opportunity to, to move here with the workshop. So uh, this is what I did. And somehow uh, we help each other. They, they have this project, I have my project here and we somehow uh, have a partnership. Um, we were three groups of friends which were each other living in different apartments, very close to each other. And we started with the idea with um, the concept of just being together, like we were always meeting at the other apartment and we started to say like, why won't we borrow a bigger house and we will have all our bedrooms and always stay together. And we knew us pretty well, but uh, all together in one house uh, uh, seemed to be more challenging than uh, we thought. So, uh, two people left quite at the beginning. They realized that this might not offer the comfort of a simple house. Here is where I feel the best now, you know. It's really nice people, the really good equipment, affordable, it's yeah, it's a great combination. You gotta keep this uh, also artists who are at the beginning and they like, don't have access to some uh, more uh, more artistic galleries that have some criteria criteria or something like this. So we, we get lots of critics from several point that you're not like a very high uh, class gallery or you're not a very uh, high value artistic you're not gallery, to. but we don't understand that that was actually the idea, like you know the little square in front of the Pompey uh, kind of crazy uh, people do what they want, we are close to that uh, approach more or less. The greatest thing was just getting a lot of people together. Um, Lots of people just came here and said, I want to do something here and started to clean, a, like you see there on the door, clean a window and said, said every time I come here I say, yeah, that's something done by me. Mm -hmm.